What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashes Corner. Shout out to the Lions Den Boxing community. Now, I've seen it. it. Whoever didn't see it and want to see it, I will put a link into the description box below of this face-to-face. -face. Now, Anthony Durrell and David Benavidez had a face-to-face -face, um, Fox inside of PBC. I believe this was yesterday. But one thing was funny. Oh, my gosh, yo. The question was, she asked Anthony Durrell, how did sparring with Sean Porter play into your training camp? Okay. Actually, the question was to David Benavidez, but he started talking immediately. Anthony Durrell started talking immediately. He was like, I'm sparring Sean Porter. You know, Sean Porter don't fight like me. It doesn't. It doesn't do nothing like me. It doesn't have nothing to do with me. I mean, Sean is 5'2". <laughs> My man said right there, it says Sean Porter was 5'2". So disrespectful, yo. He's so disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, Anthony, the dog, the real. He said, man, you showtime. You ain't no dog. You a puppy. That fucking said he was 5'2". Too. That is so disrespectful, yo. And <laughs> fucking David Benavidez sat there and allowed him to say the shit. He just fucking answered the question like it was nothing. You know, he was basically saying, yeah, it doesn't have nothing to do with, you know, Darrell. Um, but man, I gotta I gotta admit that was funny. So you guys talk about being in the amateurs and you fighting bigger guys in the amateurs. You started your career at 160 to 68, which is super middleweight. And that's exactly what David Benavidez is. Isn't that interesting? David Benavidez beat the snot out of Sean Porter in uh, sparring. You went all the way to Phoenix, Arizona. I think that's where they train to get four rounds in. No, you want to get some rounds in, but you were getting beat. That man rapid fire on his, the bitch ball, on his face mask or his whole headgear. He beat the shit out of Sean Porter in four rounds of sparring. It was you. It was for no reason. And it did look like David Benavidez was toying with your ass. And he was playing with you. So, I mean, what you do in the amateurs don't have nothing to do with right now. All the people they say that they fought in the amateurs will put Sean Porter in a coma as a pro. But... Now I'm on the topic. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this fight and what I think is going to, well, who I think is going to. And I'm going to start with uh, Anthony the Dog Durrell. He has 33 wins, one loss, one draw. He has 24 knockouts. He's fought for 150 rounds. His knockout rating is 68.5%. Um, he is the WBC champion. He's 34 years old. He's 6'2 with a 74 and a half inch reach. And he fights out of Flint, Michigan. Okay. David Benavidez has 21 wins and no losses. He has 18 knockouts. He's only fought for 78 rounds. He has an 85.7% knockout rating. He's 22 years old. It says he's 6'1 and a half. But looking at the picture and when they stand next to each other, it looks like David, ben I mean, yeah, David Benavidez got a whole inch on Darrell. So if Darrell is 6'2", David, ben David Benavidez got to be at least 6'3", in my opinion. But moving on, his reach is 77 inches. And like I said, um, I believe he fights out of Phoenix, Arizona. Now, the reach, the reach difference Saying that is not is no is pretty much not uh, no uh height difference reach difference is three inches or two inches and a half however you want to look at it, um, and this fight will be on the undercard. It will be the co-main event in Los Angeles taking place um on Fox on pay per view September twenty eighth, which is this Saturday, and it is for. Um, Anthony Durrell's WBC super middleweight title. Now, um, David Benavidez already had this title. So he's kind of trying to rec reclaim his property. I believe he will do so. Um, 
no disrespect to Anthony Durrell, but I mean he is thirty four years old, um, and and uh, David Benavidez is only twenty two. He's much younger. He's fresher. Um, David Benavidez has a lot more pop than Durrell. He's faster than Durrell. Um, Durrell can move his feet, but I believe David can can move his feet also. He just doesn't really he does just doesn't have to, you know, he seeks and destroy. And I like that about him. But I don't see him beating David Benavidez. His only loss came from Badu Jack. But uh even that was a twelve round fight. So he does got a lot of dog in him and he can take a good shot and he's going to try to hang in there with David Benavidez, but I just don't think it's gonna work. Um if he tries to hang on the outside and box, he'll get hung out to dry against David Benavidez. If he come on the inside saying that David Benavidez can fight on the inside and throw his short hooks really fast, that rapid fire punching, I don't think he's going to be able to do that. I just don't see any way around that L and him losing his title on Saturday. I just don't see it. So that's it, and that's all. I believe... David Benavidez, this fight's going to go as long as he allow it to go. It could be a four-round fight. It could be a seven-round fight, but no more than seven rounds. Um, I believe David Benavidez probably get him out there four or five rounds on the stoppage. And, um, yeah, I just think it's going to be a quick fight. Uh, but always like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for everybody who did donated to the Cash App. If you'd like to donate to the Cash App, you can hit my link into the description. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.